I'm very pleased now to be talking to Super Collins Mundi Wanzira. He is the Minister for Information and Communication Technology in Zimbabwe. Uh, Mr. Mundi Wanzira, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Now, I know that uh, Zimbabwe is taking great strides in the cities, in, in Harare, mm -hmm. uh, and in the major towns in terms of fiber optic and, and rolling out uh, services to those people. But you do have isolated parts of the country, some uh, provincial towns and, and villages. How are you helping those people access uh, ICTs? You, you ask a very important uh, point because 70% of our population in Zimbabwe lives in rural areas, the isolated areas you're talking about. We have taken a deliberate strategy as government to ensure that uh, those areas equally have access to internet. And one immediate solution we have found is to lower the cost of acquiring VSATs. Uh, VSAT uh, has been available to those that uh, can afford, and you have to get a license of over a thousand US dollars, two thousand US dollars, five thousand US dollars in some instances. And really, they've been used by banks, which have remote branches. But we have reduced the cost from over a thousand US dollars to thirty US dollars to ensure that majority of schools in the rural areas can afford it, hospitals can afford it, clinics can uh, can afford it, and individuals, farmers can also afford it. So that's one immediate strategy that we have deployed. Just by way of clarification, VSAT would mean basically satellite internet. Yeah, it's satellite internet, uh, which also has voice capability. Uh, so they, they call it very small aperture terminal, okay. which means that uh, it's a, it's a, it's, it uses satellite uh, and you can have it just like you have satellite TVs. But okay. in this time, it's not TV. It's more data and voice. So it was originally for business, clearly. You've slashed the cost. Have people responded to that? Have the numbers of people uh, taking up that service increased? There has been an immediate response to those that sell this uh, equipment. Uh, we have a government-owned company called Tel One, which is a fixed line operator, and now they're offering uh, broadband. They have immediately taken up this challenge, and they are busy right now running campaigns for people to know that it has become cheaper to access uh, this technology. So there's quite a huge demand according to their numbers. And of course, we have other companies that are now also taking advantage. And of course, for banks, we have reduced their costs, but we are also encouraging them to say, well, the savings in terms of your budgets, your budget to spend so much money, can you help the communities? Perhaps part of the money you are saving, can it now go towards schools, towards post offices, to ensure that uh, we are broadening the number of people that have access to internet? Okay. Um, in, in the community centres themselves, are people able to access this internet or do, is it all through the banks, as it were, in these villages? No, no. In the communities, what, what is happening is that we go onto a school, they have this infrastructure. So during the day, uh, the pupils, the students have access I to the internet. Mm -hmm. In the evenings, the entire community they can go and also access uh, this internet. So it really runs under the, the banner of Connected School, Connected Community Program, where once the school has internet, once the school has this infrastructure, in the evenings, because it's not being used, we can get the community to get involved. And what do you think or what do you hope will be the benefit to Zimbabwe from this program? I think that, you know, Zimbabwe is an agricultural economy. A uh, majority of our people, have, as I've said earlier, on live in rural areas. So now easy access to information, uh, information relating to health programs, information relating to outbreaks, uh, weather patterns, agricultural information, market information. We think that this will improve the economic activity in the rural areas. But more importantly, education is the most important thing. We are renowned on the African continent as a country for having the most literate uh, uh, population, and this will enhance that. Well, uh, Minister Mandiwanzira, I thank you very much for your time today. Thank you very much for having me. It's been a great pleasure being here.